Today's wildfire near Peyton is a reminder that fire season in Colorado is year round, given how dry we are. Earlier this week, Colorado Springs Utilities started a project using new technology to reduce wildfire risk and increase forest health. KRDO News Channel 13 Scott Harrison went to the forest in Taylor County to follow the process. We're on the north slope of Pikes Peak today where we're giving you an up close look at how new technology made in Finland and operated by an Oregon company is helping to make Colorado forests safer and healthier. Instead of using the traditional method of shredding dead or dying trees and leaving potential wildfire fuel behind, Miller Timber Services uses a machine that can cut and strip trees in the same motion. It makes tree harvesting much more efficient and can be used in steeper, thicker forest areas that are harder or impossible to reach. Which will provide a nice fire break, but it will also, we're getting rid of a lot of infested trees. The spruce budworm has been really bad up here, and so it's an opportunity to take advantage of that. The project also helps protect the utility's water supply with two reservoirs below. You can call it low impact forestry. It's designed to thin out forests that are too thick and to reduce the risk of damage from insects and wildfires and leave the forest in a much better shape than it was before. In Teller County, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. And developing news out of Canyon City tonight, the district attorney in Fremont County has cleared two Canyon City police officers of wrongdoing after a deadly shooting in May. 28-year-old Dalton Buckholtz died at a hotel parking lot off Highway 50. 20-year-old Crichton Phillips is recovering from a gunshot wound to the abdomen. Neither officer was injured in this incident. Canyon City police say Buckholtz drove at an officer in the parking lot, prompting him to fire. Both officers are undergoing reintegration training before returning to full duty. Mark Redwine, the La Plata County man who was convicted this past summer of murdering his own son, Dylan, has now been handed a 48-year prison sentence. Dylan was murdered back in 2012 while visiting his father's cabin north of Durango. He was a student at Lewis Palmer Middle School in Monument. Today's sentence is the maximum allowable under Colorado guidelines. The judge telling Redwine today he needed to be removed from society. Dylan's mother had this to say afterward. You know, just listening to all his lies and and his silence. Um, at this point, it was more about, you know, the peace I needed for myself and my family than any anger or resentment I have towards him. He can work that out for the next 48 years. This day has been a long time coming for Dylan Redwine's family. He first went missing in November of 2012.